The aviation industry has just received shocking news. After two devastating tragedies involving the Boeing 737 MAX, the certification process for new aircraft, once subjected to intense scrutiny, is now set for a dramatic shift. The Federal Aviation Administration, the world's most powerful aviation regulator, has announced a new direction, accelerating the certification process for commercial aircraft. This plan promises to open a new chapter, shaping the future not only of Boeing, but of the entire aviation industry. But why is the FAA suddenly pushing to speed things up after a series of tragedies? And does this mean Boeing's new aircraft will soon be certified? Let's find out. The FAA's new initiative is not merely an administrative adjustment, but a strategic effort to restructure the very legal framework of aircraft certification. This move is designed to balance the imperatives of safety with the demands of an increasingly complex and rapidly evolving technological environment. At the heart of this agency's strategy lies the overhaul of rigid bureaucratic layers that have historically slowed progress. By proactively updating existing regulations, they seek to reduce reliance on exemptions and special conditions, long-standing administrative bottlenecks that consumed valuable time. This shift transforms certification from a reactive case-by-case -case model into a proactive and standardized framework, ensuring greater consistency and predictability across the industry. In particular, one of the critical pillars of this modernization is the reassessment of the equivalent level of safety process. This concept, once complex and resource intensive, is being streamlined through digitalization. By adopting advanced tools such as artificial intelligence, digital simulation, and virtual testing, the FAA can replace some costly physical trials. This not only accelerates timelines, but also enables more accurate, data-driven evaluations of emerging technologies, aligning certification practices with the digital twin philosophy that is gaining traction across modern engineering. Furthermore, the FAA recognizes the importance of international cooperation in a globalized industry. By strengthening coordination with partners such as EASA, CAAC, and JCAB, the agency aims to establish mutual recognition agreements. This strategic move eliminates redundant certification efforts across jurisdictions, ensuring unified safety standards while expediting the entry of new aircraft into the global market. But why suddenly does the FAA accelerate certification? Because several reasons left the agency with no choice but to make this decision. First, the immense pressure from industry and customers. Lengthy certification timelines have created a domino effect. Delayed aircraft deliveries, airlines lacking capacity, ticket prices climbing, and disruptions rippling through the global supply chain. Airlines are stuck waiting for thousands of aircraft already on order, derailing fleet expansion and modernization plans. With major models such as the Boeing 737 MAX 7, MAX 10, 777X all delayed, the industry is bleeding losses and cannot afford to watch the situation drag on. For example, United Airlines had to adjust its fleet plan, even converting some of its MAX 10 orders to other variants and placing additional orders for the Airbus A321neo to meet rising demand. A clear sign of customer impatience and the direct impact on fleet strategy. Second, intensifying international competition. While the U.S. and Europe wrestle with complex certification processes, China is pushing forward its domestically built Comic C919, which has already entered commercial service. Though the C919 is not yet a direct global rival to Boeing or Airbus, its emergence is a reminder that the West's dominance is no longer unshakable. If the U.S. fails to improve certification efficiency, the risk of falling behind in the technological race is real, undermining America's leadership in aviation. The urgency becomes even sharper, as regulators like Europe's EASA are also moving to accelerate and harmonize their own processes to reduce cross-border bottlenecks. Finally, the search for a balance between safety and innovation. After the 737 MAX crashes, the FAA was criticized for being too cozy with Boeing. In response, it tightened oversight so much that nearly every new program slowed to a crawl. While rigorous supervision is vital, the industry cannot remain perpetually constrained. The agency must strike a new balance. Safety remains paramount, but innovation should not be smothered by unnecessary bureaucracy. The delays have already created a chilling effect on advanced technology development as manufacturers grow wary of investing in new projects for fear of massive certification costs and delays. However, there is an important question. Does this mean Boeing's uncertified jets will finally be fast-tracked? This is the most sensitive and most important question for Boeing. 
The 737 MAX 7, MAX 10, and 777X programs have all suffered years of delays, driven not just by certification hurdles, but by serious technical and safety problems. The short answer, yes, there is hope. The FAA's plan will certainly accelerate progress, but that does not mean any safety standards will be skipped. Instead, it creates a more favorable environment where certification can move more quickly once the technical issues are resolved. Consider the MAX 7 and MAX 10. Originally slated for entry into service in 2019 to 2020, they are now projected to receive certification only around 2026-2027. The main culprit is not red tape alone, but critical technical flaws. However, with the FAA's new, streamlined, and digitized procedures, the evaluation of Boeing's fixes can become far more efficient. The same applies to the 777X. Once expected to enter commercial service in 2020, it has now slipped to 2026. By shortening administrative steps, the FAA allows Boeing's engineers to focus squarely on resolving the remaining technical weaknesses more swiftly. In short, the FAA's modernization push is not an instant lifeline for Boeing's troubled projects, but it does mark an important turning point. The new plan signals that a more efficient system is taking shape, and while the official timelines still point to 2026-27, aviation enthusiasts, the industry, and customers alike now have reason to hope these new jets could be certified and delivered sooner than expected. So what does this mean for the entire aviation industry? It may not be an instant rescue, but the FAA's plan could prove nothing short of transformative for Boeing. First and foremost, it restores a sense of market confidence. For customers like Emirates, Lufthansa, and United Airlines, all frustrated by endless delays, this agency's move is a signal that the bottleneck won't last forever. To grasp the impact of these delays, imagine being in Emirates' position. As the biggest customer of the Boeing 777X, with over 200 orders on the books, the airline once expected its first deliveries in 2020. That fleet was meant to replace the aging A380. But no, here in 2025, Emirates has wasted billions to refurbish and extend the life of its super jumbos because of the new aircraft's delay. In addition, take Lufthansa. Once proud to be the very first airline to fly the 777X, it has instead endured disappointment after disappointment, now told to wait until 2026. For these airlines, the FAA's announcement offers a rare sigh of relief. It doesn't erase the past, but it signals that the future may finally be less uncertain and that their massive investments could soon begin to pay off. But there's a flip side. By streamlining certification, the FAA has quietly raised the stakes for Boeing. No longer can the company hide behind the excuse of red tape. From now on, if a program falls behind, the blame will land squarely on Boeing's own engineering and management failures. The pressure is higher than ever. Not only Boeing, but the entire aviation industry stands to benefit from the FAA's plan. Other manufacturers gain, particularly with their upcoming aircraft programs, but this creates a new situation of competition, one that is far more dangerous for the aviation industry. In the details, China's rising challenger, COMAC, could secure a significant advantage. A simplified FAA certification pathway for imported aircraft means that foreign manufacturers will be able to bring their products into the U.S. market far more efficiently. For instance, if COMAC's C919 were to receive FAA certification, it would mark a massive reputational victory, opening the door for the jet to compete directly with Boeing and Airbus on their home turf. Such recognition would save the Chinese aircraft maker billions of dollars and years of effort otherwise needed to meet the FAA's separate standards, dramatically accelerating its path to global commercialization. As a result, this decision carries a major risk for U.S. manufacturers. By streamlining certification and deepening international cooperation, the FAA may inadvertently be paving an easier road for foreign rivals like COMAC to penetrate the U.S. market a market long considered Boeing's home ground. If this manufacturer secures FAA approval, it would represent not only a symbolic triumph, but also a leap forward in credibility, establishing the Chinese newcomer as a serious global competitor. That could directly impact the future market share of both Boeing and Airbus. In this sense, the U.S. agency's move is a bold game, one that fosters innovation and promises a more level playing field, but also one that forces American manufacturers to raise their game if they want to defend their dominance. More importantly, this plan affirms that safety and speed are not inherently at odds. 
If successfully implemented, the FAA could become a model of reform for regulators worldwide, fostering harmonized standards and enabling the global aviation industry to grow in a more synchronized and efficient way. Although the FAA's plan may prove effective, it still faces three major challenges that could undermine its effectiveness or even trigger unintended consequences. First, and perhaps the greatest risk, is public skepticism. After the 737 MAX tragedies, public and legislative trust in the FAA was deeply shaken. Many fear that the agency's overly close relationship with Boeing once led to safety being compromised in the name of speed. As a result, any move by this agency to accelerate timelines will be scrutinized under a harsh spotlight. The agency must craft an exceptionally careful communication strategy to prove that efficiency does not equate to leniency. It needs to show that every procedural adjustment is rooted in technological progress and data-driven analysis, not concessions to manufacturers. Otherwise, even a minor accident in the future, whether related to the new process or not, could be blamed on the FAA, undermining all reform efforts. Second, technical hurdles cannot be solved by administrative shortcuts. The core problem is that while this agency can streamline its processes, it cannot magically make Boeing's aircraft safer. The fundamental issues with programs like the 737 MAX 7, MAX 10, or the 777X involve complex technical flaws, such as flight control systems and engines that fail to meet standards. Fixing these requires thousands of engineering hours, real-world testing, and design overhauls, steps that cannot be skipped. No matter how quickly the FAA processes paperwork, it must still wait for Boeing to submit a thoroughly tested and proven design. If Boeing continues to face technical setbacks, certification timelines will remain delayed, and this time, the responsibility will fall squarely on Boeing, not the FAA. Finally, international coordination presents a formidable challenge. FAA certification does not automatically grant aircraft access to Europe, China, or other markets. Top regulators such as Europe's EASA and China's CAAC maintain their own certification frameworks, sometimes with different standards. While this U.S. agency is seeking to deepen cooperation, achieving mutual recognition and harmonization is a lengthy and demanding process. If the FAA moves too quickly while others lag behind, global deliveries could remain bottlenecked, especially for aircraft designed for widespread international service. The FAA's new plan can be seen as a large-scale administrative reform in the aviation sector. For Boeing, this represents a chance to rebuild its image and prepare for the future, even though its current challenges cannot be resolved overnight. It is undeniable that the reform also opens the door for new competitors to enter the market. But, does this really give COMAC a greater chance of securing certification? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget, subscribe if you want more deep dives into the battles shaping our world. Because in aviation, as in politics, the skies are never as calm as they seem. Thanks, and stay safe.